Hey fellow developers! Welcome to the tutorial on how to create UI for multiple resolutions and screens in Unity. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more useful Unity dev videos. To start off, let's create a UI for our game. I am going to be using GUI Pro Kit by Layer Lab. The link is available in the description below. Let's go ahead and design a nice looking UI in landscape mode. Add a background. An experience bar on top left. On the bottom right two buttons, one for starting the game, and one for selecting level. On the top right, I will add a settings button, coin count, and energy bars. A little below these are going to be some extra buttons. On the bottom left are going to be buttons for store, inventory, and skills menu. And in the center let's add a character. And there we go, a professional looking main menu. Now, let's test our UI on different resolutions. In the game window, on the top left, select different resolutions. And as we can see, the menu looks nothing like what we want it to. If the resolution is larger than the one we built in, the menu becomes too small. If the resolution is smaller, the menu gets cropped, and we can't see the UI on the sides. To fix this, the first thing we want to do is select our root canvas. In the inspector window, find canvas scaler. Here change, UI scale mode to, scale with screen size. And now we can drag the slider to choose whether to scale with width or height of screen. I usually prefer to scale with height for landscape, and scale with width for portrait projects. You can leave it in the center if it suits you. And now as we can see, if the height of the screen changes, the UI is automatically scaled to match it. However, this is not the case for change in width. To fix this, we will need to anchor our UI elements. To understand how anchoring works, let's create a new scene. Add a blank UI image in the scene. Select the image. In the Rectangle Transform component, on the top left, we can see a box. If we click on this box, we can see all the anchor points that can be selected for the image. There are a total of 16 anchors. One for center, which is default. Four for each corner, four points in between the corners, and the rest for stretching the UI element across two or all four corners. Anchors allow you to pin your UI element at a fixed distance from a corner or side. For example, if we anchor the image to top left, the image will remain at a fixed distance from top left no matter how much we scale the screen. If we combine anchors with scaled UI size we used earlier, it will allow our UI to scale up or down with the screen size while keeping the UI elements at a fixed distance from their anchors. With multiple objects at different anchor points, we can force them to stay at their required position like this. Next, if we select stretch anchor across two points, it will pin the corners of the UI element to these two points. The UI element will be stretched up or down depending on screen size. This is useful when we have an image, with image type set to sliced, which we are going to use as a pop-up menu background. Similarly, if we stretch it across all four corners, this is how the image will be scaled. Now, let's head back to our menu and start anchoring the UI elements. Here, we can anchor each UI element individually. However, a more organized method is to create empty game objects inside the canvas for each anchor point. Anchor these empty game objects to their respective corners, and then, move other UI elements inside these empty anchored objects. Let's create these empty anchor game objects. 
Next, set the anchor points of these game objects, and then set their positions to zero along all axes. After this, move the UI objects to their anchor game objects. The character and background goes in center. Player experience bar goes in top left. Start and stage select buttons go in bottom right. Settings button, stamina, and coins go in top right. The extra buttons go in center right. And finally, the store, inventory, and skill buttons go in bottom left. Now, if we scale the screen, the UI elements stay in their required positions. As long as the orientation is landscape, our menu is perfectly as we want it to be. Let's adjust the sizes and position of the UI elements. And there we go. Our main menu is ready. No matter what resolution or aspect ratio we use, as long as it is in landscape, our UI is perfectly scaled. That's it for how to create UI for multiple resolutions and screens in Unity. Make sure to like and subscribe for more useful Unity dev videos.